going to demonstrate a simple running. It's not difficult. You're going to start 90 degrees, go in, you're going to throw a simple interrupted, same as we taught you initially. 90 degrees, rotate, and then you will tie down your simple interrupted. The way that we do this differently than the simple interrupted is that instead of cutting both ends of the suture off right here, we'll do one extra to grow on, we're just going to cut off the end without the needle. And then we will use We will use this end to run. You're going to pick up on this 90 degrees, rotate, and for this we're not going to pull it out because I can see. Rotate through. And if you see my hand here, I've grabbed the instrument differently to put that stitch in and sometimes that can be helpful. Um, sometimes your fingers in the holes when you're doing that side can be a little bit more difficult. You can do this, but you see my wrist and everything is rotated on. So sometimes we'll re-grab the instrument a different way. Palm it is what we call, which is when we do this to throw a stitch. It's a little bit easier to get that 90 degree that we want in that manner, but then you need to rotate back to hold it the correct way. Anyway, when you're done, You'll throw your last stitch. I'm going to pretend that we're to the end of the incision here. Rotate that through. So what you're going to have to tie is the loop and the other end. And so you're going to treat this as if it is um, a single suture and you're going to tie a knot with these things. And I'm going to do this with an instrument tie. So you're going to do it the exact same way. Now rather than grabbing that, I can grab it and pull it through but then I'm going to put this through here so that it pulls down equally. And then you're going to do the exact same thing. 